An airplane needs to fly due north, but there is a wind blowing from the southwest at 60 kilometers per hour. The plane flies at an airspeed of 500 kilometers per hour. To end up due north, the pilot needs to fly how many degrees west of north? So we'll solve this problem using vectors. The first thing to recognize is that the plane wants to fly due north, and therefore the plane wants to take the path of this green vector here. So we'll call this green vector the resultant vector. But because there's a wind blowing out of the southwest, if the wind is blowing out of the southwest, it's actually blowing in this direction here, which should be in the direction of northeast. So we can model the wind using this red vector here. So we'll call this vector w. So because of the wind, the plane actually has to fly a certain number of degrees west of north, which would be this angle here formed by this blue vector and the y-axis. So let's call this angle alpha. And therefore this blue vector would represent the plane, we'll call it vector p. So notice how if we sum vector p and w, we want the sum to be the resultant vector that's heading due north. So what we'll do is write each of these vectors in component form and then set up an equation to solve for alpha. Let's begin with vector p. We'll use the fact that the x component is equal to the magnitude times cosine theta and the y component is equal to the magnitude times sine theta. Where in this case, angle theta would be this angle here from the positive x-axis to vector p. And because the plane is flying at 500 kilometers per hour, the magnitude is 500, so vector p would have an x component of 500 times cosine theta, we don't know theta yet, comma, the y component would be 500 sine theta. And now for vector w, because it has a speed of 60 kilometers per hour, the magnitude is 60, so the x component would be 60 times cosine theta, but now we can find theta because we know that the wind is blowing out of the southwest or blowing in the direction of northeast. So notice how angle theta, this angle here, would be 45 degrees. So the x component is 60 cosine 45 degrees, and the y component is 60 sine 45 degrees. And now for vector r, notice how because the direction is due north, the x component would be zero, and the y component would be equal to the magnitude of vector r times sine theta, and notice how theta would be 90 degrees. We also need a formula for alpha, the angle we're trying to find, which would be the number of degrees the pilot must fly west of north. Notice how because we have a right angle here, we can say that alpha would be equal to theta minus 90 degrees. Remember our ultimate goal here is to find alpha. In order to solve this problem, we need to recognize that if the resultant vector has an x component of zero, then the sum of the x components of vector p and w must sum to zero, meaning 500 cosine theta plus 60 cosine 45 degrees must equal zero. So if we solve this equation for theta, we can then come back and find alpha, which is equal to theta minus 90 degrees. Let's go ahead and solve this on the next slide. Well, we know cosine 45 degrees equals square root two divided by two, so we'd have 500 cosine theta plus 60 times square root two divided by two. Notice how this simplifies to 30 square root two. And now we'll solve this equation for cosine theta. So we'll subtract 30 square root two on both sides. Then divide by 500. So we have cosine theta equals Notice here there's a common factor of 10, so we can write this as negative three square root two divided by 50. So if cosine theta equals this quotient, if we take inverse cosine on both sides, 
we would have theta equals inverse cosine of negative three square root two divided by fifty. And now we'll go to the calculator to approximate theta. Let's verify that we are in degree mode. So we'll press the mode key. We are in degree mode. Go back to the home screen. Second cosine for arc cosine or inverse cosine. Then we have negative three square root two, right arrow, divided by fifty. Close parenthesis, enter. Notice theta is approximately 94.8676 degrees. But we're not looking for theta, we're looking for alpha, where alpha is equal to theta minus 90 degrees, or 94.8676 degrees minus 90 degrees. So alpha is approximately 4.8676 degrees. If we go back to our first slide, this is the angle that we found. The pilot must fly approximately 4.8676 degrees west of north. In order to fly due north. I hope you found this helpful.